Hey guys, so I am here with Baby Jade, and um, man, oh, I know, I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys that have um, silicone babies, do you guys put them on, like, um, heating pads, um, or anything of that nature, um, or do you guys just wait till they warm up to you? I, um... I was thinking, I was like, maybe I'll feed her while I'm talking. Um, but I, some stuff I do more so on video um, and not necessarily off video, but it's not that I don't enjoy it when I'm doing it. It's just that I feel kind of... Um, I don't know. I just don't. It's just something I just don't do off camera. So I'm gonna take her off her cloth cloth diaper because I don't want her to wet the cloth diaper up. And I think I grabbed a too big diaper, so we'll have to fold it. But it's okay because all she's gonna do is wet it up, and she's gonna take it right back out. Like I have my favorite color blankets with her. My favorite color clothes with her I was gonna put her on this one outfit this morning and I'm still kind of debating but I don't know if it's gonna even look good on her um I'll show it to you um like I said when I when I buy babies I keep souvenirs from artists <laughs> stuff that they send me I keep a lot of times because a lot of times artists that I deal with send stuff specifically for me because whatever reason they either like me or they kind of know my style. So it was this little outfit that came from, um, this actually came from Stephanie, I think with when I had dreamy. Um, plus I feel like when I send out my babies a lot of times, unless, you know, I'm taking a huge loss. Um, I really mostly prefer to just go out and buy them like new stuff because I feel like the new mommy is not going to want um, not going to want the, the the used stuff. So once it's already been in my nursery and stuff like that. The only way I send originals is if it's like um, very expensive baby. Uh, one time I did sell a baby on eBay and I should have put you on a bib. I always forget that. Um, one day I did sell a baby on eBay and the lady apparently followed my channel or whatever and she specifically asked for um, the elf outfit that was custom done for the doll and I sent it. Although I really wanted to keep it, I sent it because you know it was made specifically for the doll and the customer wanted it and um, so I sent it but um, she so anyway so I sent that oh my goodness are you gonna she dribble a little bit oh. um, but I do keep that stuff but if it's like a silicone baby with an original lay it that like it has their name on it or something like that I have no purpose of keeping that stuff because guess what nine times out of ten I'm not gonna have that same sculpt and if I do you know it's gonna come with its own stuff and I just think at that price yeah um I better send my originals but that's just you know my thing or whatever and this little girl I should have put her on a bib because I just dribbled water and it's not coming out of it's coming out of I think I this bottle around the um the the nipple part actually I think that's where it came from not from her because she's actually not dribbling she's not wasting nothing because she she's sucking this thing away I love love giving her the bottle because when you push it in and, and when you pull it out, it's like she's really sucking on it because bubbles start coming up. 
it is like bubbles coming up in a bottle it's so cute anyway um i can't lie i do enjoy um feeding her um i just should have gotten her a bib but um another thing i wanted to talk to you guys about i've been watching like a lot of videos where people have been talking like about depression and stuff like that and i know a lot of people seem to think that just because we collect dolls that we're crazy or just because we collect dolls we have some type of issue but in my opinion i think as a whole you know just living in this world and dealing with life we all get moments where we have low moments and we go through things and then there's some people that you know don't cope as well as others and um i know that some people frown on us calling these using these as coping me mechanism mechanisms um and um i kind of agree to a certain extent however I think that we should find anything that gives us some type of comfort and relief. Um, I think that you shouldn't just alone, you know, use the dolls alone. You know what I mean? Like, there's, you know, you should go see a licensed therapist or a physician and let them, you know, give you therapy or, you know, maybe some people have to have medication. But you should have more than just the dolls. The doll should just be like a help, you know. Um, that's the way I see it. I think, you know, I always feel like, and I'm not a professional, I always feel like you need to get to the root of the problem of why you're depressed. And then some people don't realize that um, it's not that you're going through something, it's an illness. And some people are just, can be having the best life in the world considered to some people. And they could just still feel inadequate or don't feel good about um, themselves or whatever and be depressed. Or just depressed and they don't even know why they're depressed because it's an illness. So, um, but I won't deny that for me. This is so common, just sitting here. And I know at the end of the day when I really, really think about it and break it down, you guys are not right here. But I know that I'm talking to you guys and that you guys are going to watch me and, um, you know, we're going to communicate. So, um, and then as far as the role playing, sometimes I come across videos and I know if I was an outsider, I'd probably be like, what the heck is wrong with these grown ladies or uh, whatever. Maybe, maybe not me because I actually like dogs, but, and I'm very open minded. But to some others, I can understand when I get crazy comments from outsiders because, and I can always tell when it's from an outsider versus someone that's inside the doll world. Um, but I can understand that because it, it can look, you know, um, crazy or whatever. But I think that um, people forget that, that YouTube is a form of entertainment. And although we are, you know, vlogging about our real life and we're also sharing our real experiences, we're also entertaining. We also want people to enjoy watching our videos. We don't want people to just be like, oh my God, you know, that was the most boring video ever. Or, you know, start watching it and just click off. You know, you just, that's not what we're aiming for. So, little girl. Oh my God. I don't, let me see. Do I have... trying to see if I got a burping cloth guys um yep oh it's not a good one though it's not clean it's one that I use for like when their hair when some of my baby's hair leak I'll use this one <gasps> see she spit No, she was going to do that. That's why she sometimes she spits up. Um, but yeah, I just um, I really um, whatever I was saying, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, I just you know, I just want to come on and let you guys know that. 
um, like to the people that I've watched videos that was talking about it, that um, you're not alone. And even if people don't admit it, you know, on camera, um, they, a lot of people deal with the same things. And I think it's very good when people come on and, you know, I can watch their videos and be like, oh, I can relate to that, you know. Um, I'll be honest, like, I will sit here and I will rock her and I will do this right here. Just what I'm doing off camera as well as on camera. I don't need nobody to be sitting here with me. Usually it's when I'm on the phone or watching TV or just sitting here, um, you know, editing videos or something like that. I'm usually in idle time and it's when I get to hold, you know, Jade. Um, I'll, I really don't hold anybody else anymore. <laughs> I know that's sad. Um, but I do, um, I will pick them up and change the poles or something, but I don't really hold them, hold them anymore. But the feeding and the diaper changing and all that stuff is definitely for, um, entertainment. It's definitely for entertainment. Um, I know people like to see her get, you know, fed. And now I kind of enjoy it now that she actually is wet. <laughs> Um, I liked it when I pretend to, I, I, I won't lie. I like the whole role play thing. Um, it's to me, it's like a form of acting. Um, let me check her. Let me check your diapy, even though I didn't bring another diapy, so I won't be able to. Oh yeah. Yep. She's good and wet. I'm going to change it after the recording just simply because um if I change her now I don't have a diaper and I have to put her on a cloth diaper and you know sometimes Miss J don't pee all in one setting so I'll make sure she's good and ready and done right mama and that's just like um kissing her I have a habit of holding her up and kissing her like this mm. and it's simply because she just looks so real and feels so real and she um she has a very familiar face to me and she's a very special baby for me so and I really enjoy her and you know what <laughs> If somebody's offended by that, too bad. Because guess what? You didn't pay the money I did, and I'm gonna enjoy everything. Sometimes I get when I buy a new car, I want to kiss it too. When I spent that kind of money, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, I get a new phone. I play with it all the time. I learn different gadgets, and I kind of like with my dolls. I get a new doll. I want to change it all the time, and you know, see what colors look good on it, which ones don't, and all that great stuff. Um, I'm getting used to the new matte style that Claire is using on the babies too. Um, so I, I'm always like feeling her because she feels different. Um, I don't know. I'm just, you know, just having a time. I don't, I was just feeling her little belly button. I forget, I never really use her stomp. But anyway, guys, this is it. I'm going to end this video here. We can chat some more later. <clears throat> Again, I want to say that I really enjoyed the Saturday um, live stream. If you have not looked at that video, you, you want to check it out. It was the the real. This community is full of poop. It was pretty good. Um, I think even more so if you were there. It was a lot of talk going on. Um, one day I'll learn how to make it where you guys are able to see the discussion that was taking place as well but i don't know how to do that just yet so um plus i think some people kind of like being able to talk in the live stream without it being like public where like they know the next day is not going to be up so they're freely to really say what they really feel more so than actually you know in a public area so i don't know i might just leave it i've always kind of debated on that but anyway we'll talk to you guys later